everyone. This is Cheryl Kuchak with Sublimation for Beginners and Beyond Facebook group. I, I have some exciting news. Um, so I'm here to share with you how to sublimate on uh, literally blank wood, um, uncoated, and um, do it with lamination. So a fellow subber, Jeff Griffith, shared a video on how to uh, do that, which is really amazing. So this is a matte finish, and I just absolutely love that. And then this is the glossy. So I wanted to share how to do that, how I'm doing it, and, um, you know, the method that I'm using. So I just took um, plain... Um, the lamination that you know I got from Office Depot, wherever you know, but I also bought um, these rolls from Lamination Depot. Um, I bought a glossy. They come in a set of two, glossy and matte finish, and it cost one hundred and eighteen dollars. Um, but I really wanted the matte finish, so. Um, I wanted to share with you how I'm doing it, and um, it's so, so exciting. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to leave quite a bit along the side um, because what I found out is that it will shrink. So if you look at this close enough, you're gonna see it kind of, hold back some on the edge, whereas this one, when I left part of it, did not shrink at all. So that's what that's what we're going to do this time as well. So I'm just gonna cut along the sides here. I don't want that much hanging over. No, no reason to have too much, right? So, Right. And now we're gonna we are going to do this at 360 degrees for 150 seconds. I'm gonna take two pieces of parchment paper and I am going to take in fact I still feel like this might be a little much on the sides here. Let me just do this over the over the trash here. So now I'm going to put this in the middle and I'm not spraying it. Um, some things I do spray, this I'm not spraying. And I'm going to do this at, you know, kind of medium to heavy pressure. Um, this is at a four, so medium pressure. And I'm going to do that for 160 seconds. Then I'm going to take a glass block and I'm going to put it on my mat because I, I don't want my mat to bow from the heat and it does get awfully hot. And here's another example I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, so as you can see this pulled away from the wood. So that's why it is important that you um, uh, keep a little bit extra Kind of like we do with images. So here's another thing that I'm so excited about. This is canvas, flat canvas that I did with the glossy finish. I'm also going to be doing a video on this along with along with this tile as well. I mean, it's so beautiful. So we will just do a bunch of videos and I'll be in the lab working on numerous things. So I hope you guys are excited. I love it. I love experimenting. It's, you know, just, it's just so much fun. Actually, when you, when you score and you're like, yes. Okay. So we have uh, 21 seconds left and I can, I can smell that wood cooking. 
So let's do it. All right, here we go. All right. Now I'm going to just pick this up and I'm going to put this on my glass. And as you can see, okay, so this is beautiful. It, it really stuck nicely. You don't need to do this. I'm, I'm just doing it. But I like to just make sure my edges are done well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut around that so it loose, you know, it because right now it's actually adhered to the parchment paper. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't pull too much. And then afterwards we can we can just use the exacto knife. Okay, so there we go. And now actually keep the rest of that and throw this away. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, you know, we're waiting for this to cool off and it's almost cool. So I'm gonna get my exacto knife and I am, how cute is that, right? So I'm gonna get my exacto knife and I'm gonna just start as close to the edge as you can get. And sometimes you have to kind of go back. It kind of um, almost acts like a rubber band. It starts. Okay, there we go. I hope you can see me okay. Let's see. It's kind of funny how it kind of pops a little bit. And sometimes if I can't get close enough, I actually take my little scissors. I love those little things. And get the rest of what I couldn't get. Super, 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 super easy to do. Super, super, super. Okay, so I want to check, make sure, and it looks it looks really good. Yeah, it looks super good. Okay, now I'm gonna throw this away. Yeah, this is kind of a pain sometimes. Okay. And we are ready to sublimate this beauty. Okay, so now I'm gonna make sure that my edge is good there. Cause it just a little teeny little strand there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna prepare it and I'm actually going to spray. Now, unfortunately, I didn't make this. I didn't I didn't make a big enough design for this. So let's see what I'm gonna do here. Well, And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this off the side here. And I'm going to stick it in there like so. And now we're ready to sublimate. We're going to do the exact same um, as we had. So I'm going to 
That's 360 for 150 seconds at medium pressure. And that's it. And then we are ready. So earlier um, I was uh, demo demonstrating something and of course I went to go use a spray and guess what? It wouldn't spray. So I keep these, I keep an extra bag of these. So if that happens, I have them because, you know, usually it's an order. It's something that you're doing that you really need it and you don't have it. So, and I'm, I'm, I've thrown some of these away because I could, they couldn't spray anymore. They were half, half full. So anyway, it's, um, and then of course you can soak it and you can reuse them. Okay. So we're almost ready for the reveal. It's so exciting. And you know, there's more to come. It's just a, again, this is phenomenal. This is really, now I feel like this is a game changer in a lot of ways because I don't know, I don't remember the cost of this. I've had it for a long time, but not very expensive. This I think was like 40 cents over at um, Home Depot or Lowe's, wherever we got it. So it's pretty, I really don't need the gloves because it's not that hot. Oops, let me put this on the side here. Okay. We are ready. Love my George Knight heat press, of course. Okay, so let me pick this out. We're going to put it over here. And let's see what we have. How pretty. Okay, there you have it. Look at that. It's a beauty. I love it. And it has two holes, so it is ready to be hung. Love it. Thank you, guys. Um, I have more videos coming. Um, again, let me show you the matte finish against this because it's so so cool so here's the make sure it's not too hot no it's not okay here's the matte finish and here is the glossy how awesome right i love it so thank you for watching uh subscribe to my channel um we're going to um be in the lab a lot these days so stay tuned for some awesome exciting videos coming um lots of you know um off the off the main pathway if you will. so thank you take care uh talk to you soon bye